find the remains of a thief. He must have been... Uh, he must have been a thief. His withered fingers are still clutching a stone tablet engraved with drawings of great drakes of ages past. Remove it from his bony fingers. This should make Reptracos happy. So I can get a second scale, huh? What am I gonna do with scale number two, huh? All these little piles of trash I'm leaving everywhere. Hey, dude. Found your tablet. There you go. You hand the tablet to Reptracos. Well done, it says. As a reward, I will bestow upon you a small portion of my great knowledge. Listen carefully. It begins to chant. The chant is ancient and complex. It settles like a fog into the remote valleys of your mind. You can now cast the spells Mighty Beast and Call Spirit. Thanks. Uh, do you have anything else? Huh. Nope. Nothing else. He does have four treasure rooms, though. And lots of loot, if you want to fight him for it. Do you want to fight him for it? I don't. <laughs> Besides, I like dragons. No. Wait a minute. I'm not... I didn't find the scale. That is something I should do. There is indeed another one here. No. No. <laughs> I don't feel like getting annihilated. Ah, oh, what the heck. So go pretty much just like the Great Hag fight. Save the game. Sure, let's turn it. Hi. Uh. You saw that right. He just meleeed for over. <laughs> I'm sure you guys were curious about how strong he was. Now you know. <laughs> Very. Maybe the scale behind that place is what he was referring to. Can I go back here without get him getting angry? It's a foul rat. It's even stronger than a mung rat.
There we go. Eat javelin. Or not. Hey, guy. I see. This goes into the back of one of the treasure rooms. Gabo's gone from nervous to outright terrified. What are you doing? He asks in Whipper. This is the big newt's treasure room. You're gonna get us all killed, you know that. Sees you aren't turning around. All right, I'm one dead goblin. Just don't go there. Points to the south wall. If you do, the dragon will see you, and we're toast for sure. Must have, uh, wow, Reptrakos must save everything. This chest is large and filled with nothing but plates and bowls. It's not valuable ones. Uh, that. Fired clay wood, mainly utilitarian. Actually, upon inspection, you notice that one of the bowls is under a precariously stacked pile of pewter mugs is actually quite lovely. Might be worth a few coins if you got it back to town. Problem is, the mugs would be rather tricky to get out of the way with, without making quite a racket. It's to find that there's nothing inside the box. It's small, must be made of uh, shifting ebony and mahogany panels. Interesting. Must be a puzzle box. It's lovely worksmanship. But even more intriguing is the impossibilities for what is inside. <laughs> I don't think I actually want to keep that, but hey. I, uh, can get in there. The puzzle box is probably important for something. I wonder he's, uh, rather unpowered. I suppose that's good equipment for a goblin. Well, we got a scale, and that's what we came here for. Goblin stops marching. Sorry, guys. This is my home, you know? I just... I got my old goblin buddies to look after. You want my help later? Just come find me. I'll be here. The lizard doesn't get me. That is, uh, see ya. And he leaves. Yeah, he's not going to uh, venture beyond this place with us. <laughs> Make your way through the marsh. You notice a small statue. It's a small lizard about a foot long, almost perfect in every detail. It's too heavy to bring along. Odd, what is it doing out here? From a hiding place beyond a large pile of rubble, you can see a family of small green lizards. They cling together, sleeping. There are about eight of them. They're quite cute. There are several statues around them. Some are of animals. A few of them are goblins. One stone formian uh, has the glint of metal on its neck. Maybe if you scared the lizards away, you could find the treasure. They look quite harmless. Your background in fairy lore tells you they are, in fact, dangerous. They're basilisks. One glance from them can instantly turn you to stone. You wait for a while, soon several of them go off to hunt. It would be much safer to attack now if you wanted. Sure. 
We rush out and charge the basilisks. This is, of course, a very, very dangerous thing to do, but from such a bravado, legends are made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they're doing. Instant kill attack. And you can delete your character if you want. Uh, I should have saved before I did that, but I didn't realize I was that event was right there. That's my bad. Come on. Keep walking. I didn't let go of the button. This place really wasn't that bad, as long as you don't get on uh, Reptracos' bad side. See ya. Try again. I will take you, Basilisks. Well, maybe I'll just leave them alone for now. Basilisks! And I do have a dragon scale. Hey, lady. I've obtained a dragon scale. She takes the scale from you, sniffs it, nods, and gets to work. She spends over an hour shaving it into little curly strips, pounding the strips and mixing them with gray liquid, ground bugs, and other unsavory ingredients. Finally, she takes the mixture, dips a rag in it, and rubs it on the curse marks. Sure enough, they come off on the rag, which she swiftly burns. There you go, no more curse. Been a pleasure to help you. Can you tell me about the curse now that it's gone? It's a very ugly one, and it would have gotten worse as time passed. It would have. The crones must really, really hate you. The longer you let the curse linger, the worse the effects get, and eventually it's pretty difficult to do anything. Which is pretty unfortunate. Can you do anything else? Potions? Ah, good to uh, be rid of that curse early in the game for once. <laughs> and now people aren't fearful of me. Blacksmith, what are you selling? Metal things. Good metal. I hit hard. Bang, bang. And it's sharp and good. Ooh, blessed chainmail. Blessed small shield. Ooh, javelins. Hey, a blessed spear. Javelins are pretty pricey. Let's sell some stuff instead. Like these torques. And that armor. And those. And that.
man. So expensive. Hey, lady. First you think this is an ancient human woman, perhaps even as old as 50. But then you see her pointed ears and sharp fangs, and you realize that this is yet another strange denizen of Shadowvale. She looks up at you grinding some herbs and grins, showing off her dirty fangs. I am called Kolatha. Welcome to my little home. What are you selling? I am a creator of potions. Marvelous potions. The ideal thing to help ambitious individuals such as yourself in the heroic quest which uh, tales may be spun. How do you create potions? Shadow Veil contains many useful plants and herbs. I then turn into elixirs and drops and beverages, brews. You know, those sort of things. If you would like to purchase, I would be honored. You are young, but you know flattery when you hear it. It's pretty average. Ooh, heroic brew. Heroic brew is pretty darn sweet. Bomb of life. Basically, if somebody dies while you're out in the field, that will bring them back. Pretty useful. Kinda wanna pick up one. So I will. And she has uh, six of them. Did I use all those curing elixirs? Most of them. Oh, that gets rid of acid as well. Okay. Hey, a fairy. Hi. It's an unusual sight. The desk and chair are normal human size. The wood sprite sitting on the chair on the other hand, is a little over a foot tall. She looks up at you with a goofy grin. She giggles and tries to suppress it with limited success. Frivolity and business fight fiercely within her. She manages to say, I am Poot. Poot. Welcome to my st Her name is Poot. <laughs> what kind of store do you have? I have all sorts of special items, she giggles. Real, real useful things. Shadow Vale has lots of terrific things, and I get as many as I can. What sort of useful things do you try to get? She pounced briefly. Why? I like neat things. I want all the neat things I can get. I keep trying to get Silac things. They're really rare. The mean old Formian won't let me add his magic keys. What are Silac things? Silac is one of the greatest fairy mages ever, and he made all sorts of really weird things. Some of them were even useful. She thinks, though not many. Some are still fun to have, and that's enough for me. I won't give you the magic keys. That awful Scrog. He's not far from here. He doesn't like sprites, so he won't sell me his really pretty key. Your wings jump in agitation. Ask him about magic keys. If he won't sell them to me, he might feel different about you. Can I buy those special items? I'm happy to let you purchase any of my fine items. My prices are high, true, but if uh, they weren't, I wouldn't. I would get less money. That's my business model, you see. Charge high prices. Get lots of money. Works so far. <laughs> huh. Seems like she would want this, uh... Magic trash that I have. Hey guy. What are you selling? Uh no.